हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू आर यूट्यूब चैनल अलीशा मैस क्लासेस सो टुडे आई हैव टेकन क्लास नाइन्थ टॉपिक इन विच आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व अ रिवीजन टेस्ट क्वेश्चन पेपर विच इज बेस्ड अपॉन ऑल द चैप्टर्स मैंशन हेयर दैट इज चैप्टर नंबर वन टू थ्री फोर सिक्स इलेवन ट्वेल्व एंड फिफ्टीन सो माई बेसिक टारगेट इज दैट यू विल बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट आर द टॉपिक्स और वॉट आर द क्वेश्चन विच आर इंपॉर्टेंट for the examination point of view out of these chapters and you will be able to understand the tricks that you have to particular uh, ha that you have to apply in a particular question to solve the that question so please before that if you have not subscribed our channel please subscribe now and hit the bell button so that you get the latest updates of our channel and uh, those students who have not watched our previous video regarding the hot question of chapter number 1 number system please click on the i link you get the description over there so without wasting the time let's start now so students let's see section number a this carries all the questions which is of two marks only so let's see the first question this is question number 1 po plot the points A five comma five and B minus five comma five in the Cartesian plane. Join AB, OA, and OB. Name the figure obtained. So first of all, you have to make a Cartesian plane in which you have to plot these two points. Now I have made a Cartesian plane, and this is the point five comma five. Uh, you know that this is the point x five. This is the point y five. So this A point will be five comma five. In the same way, B point is minus five comma five. So the value of x is minus five here, and the value of y is five here. So this point B will be minus five and five. Now you, it is given that you have to join AB, OA, and OB. so it is known here that o is the origin so we will just join oa ob and ab now you can see that the figure that we have obtained that is basically a triangle but it has a special quality that this ob is equal to oa so this is basically an isosceles triangle whose two sides are equal so the first answer is this one Moving on to the question number two. The question number two is if the points two k minus three and k plus two lies on the graph of the equation two x plus three y plus fifteen is equal to zero, find the value of k. Listen, students. First thing that you have to understand whenever any point lies on the equation of the line, that means that point is satisfying the equation of the line. whatever the point is there that point will satisfies the given equation so here point is 2k minus 3 and k plus 2 now this point lies on the on the graph of uh, on the line this equation having this equation so we will just put x is equal to 2k minus 3 and y is equal to k plus 2 in this equation so putting x is equal to 2k minus 3 and y is equal to k plus 2 And plus 15 will remain same. So 2 into 2k is going to be 4k minus 6 plus 3 into k is 3k and 3 into 6 is plus 6 plus 15 is equal to 0. 4k plus 3k is going to be 7k minus 6 plus 6 is going to be 0. So plus 15 will remain as it is. In the next step, you will shift minus plus 15 to the right hand side. It becomes minus 15. so the value of k is minus 15 upon 7 for this value of k this point will lie on this graph please note down question number 3 is also of, also in section a and carries two marks so let's see the question if the area of an equilateral triangle is 81 square root 3 cm square find its perimeter so i hope so that all of you know about equilateral triangle whose all sides are equal so this is the given information that area of equilateral triangle is 81 root 3 cm square but we know the formula of area of equilateral triangle that is root 3 upon 4 into side square is equal to 81 root 3 now side square uh, will remain here and root 3 by 4 will be shifted to the right hand side and it will be reciprocal so it will become 4 upon root 3 4 will come in the multiplication and root 3 will come in the division so root 3 will be cancelled by root 3 and 81 into 4 is going to be 324 so side square is equal to 324 that means you have to make the factors and 324 can be written as 18 whole square
so square will be cancelled by square so therefore side is equal to 18 centimeter this means that this equilateral triangle has all sides of length 18 centimeter now you know that what do you mean by perimeter perimeter is the sum of all the outer boundaries or of any figure is called perimeter so this is a triangle so perimeter is equal to side plus side plus side that is 18 plus 18 plus 18 or we can simply do 3 into 18 which is going to be 54 centimeter please note down so students next moving on to section b which carries all questions of three marks only so this is question number four and we have to express 2.015 bar here bar is only on one and five not on zero so 1 5 bar in the form of p by q where p and q are integers and q is not equal to 0. So students we have discussed this type of question where this is an irrational number and we have to represent in the form of rational number this type of question we have done in our hot question also. Link again you can see that uh, in the i link the same description is given over there which, in which we have discussed how to how to change an irrational number in the form of rational number that is p upon q where p and q are integers and q is not equal to 0. So following the same steps let us see now how to do this question. x is equal to 2.0 here bar is only on 1 and 5 that means this bar rep represents that this digit is repeating again and again. This 1 5 is repeating again and again that means 2.015 15 15 15 this will never end at any point this will be is going to infinity now the main thing is that uh, whatever the digits that are repeating we have to just count how many digits are repeating here two digits are repeating so we have to multiply it by 100 if three digits are repeating that means we have to multiply by 1000 if one digit is repeating then 10 2 digit 100, 3 digits 1000 and so on we have to proceed. So here I have seen that bar is only on 2 digits that means 2 digits are repeating I will multiply both side by 100. So this becomes 100x is equal to. Now if I will multiply by 100 so there are 2 zeros that means decimal will be shifted 2 digits back. So that means 1 digit here it becomes 1 digit 2 digit so decimal will come here. That means 201.515151 up to so on. So it becomes 201.515151 up to so on. So the next step is same for every type of question. Always you have to mark this equation 1 and this equation as equation 2. And you have to operate equation 2 minus equation 1. Always whenever these type of question will come in the exam, you have to follow the same pattern. So left hand side will become 100x minus x is equal to 201.51515 up to so on minus 2.01515 up to so on 2.01515 up to so on so here you can see that i have subtracted left hand side is very simple 100 minus 1 is going to be 99x and 201.51515 up to so on minus 2.01515 up to so on here you can see that all the digits will become 0 5 minus 5 0 1 minus 1 0 5 minus 5 0 1 minus 1 0 and all the digits now 1 is repeating so it becomes 0 all the digits will become 0 just 5 minus 0 will become 5 now you will take carry 11 minus 2 is going to be 9 and this will left over with 9 and you have taken carry so it will become 1 so answer is 199.5 so that's what i have written here 199.5 now as i have to represent in the form of p by q so i have removed this decimal as we are having only one digit after the decimal so it will become 10 in the next a step i will uh, shift this 99 on the left on the right hand side and it will come in the division as it is multiplying by 99 here is so when i will shift it will come in the division very simple 99 into 10 is 990 now you can see that both the numbers we can cancel by on the table of 5 so we get 399 upon 198 so this is the answer you can also check your answer by doing the calculation on the calculator when you will divide 399 by 198 you will get again same number 2.0151515 up to so on please note down 
सो स्टूडेंट्स नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्थ इज फैक्टराइज दिस क्यूबिक इक्वेशन टू एक्स क्यूब माइनस थ्री एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस सेवेंटीन एक्स प्लस थर्टी बिफोर प्रोसीडिंग टू दिस क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वुड लेट टू यू नो दैट आई हैव पुट माई वीडियो ऑन द शॉर्टकट टू सॉल्व द क्यूबिक इक्वेशन द डिस्क्रिप्शन इज गिवन इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स those who have not seen that video please watch that video and i must say that you will love the video because this will save you a lot of time you will be able to know how to solve a cubic equation within just 10 seconds so following i have just followed that method in my question so let's see now this is the cubic equation now the first thing that i have told in the video that first of all we have to think about one value of x which is going to satisfy this e equation satisfies means the value which makes the value of this given equation zero so by hit and trial i have just think that putting the value of x is equal to 2 here i put it the x, x is equal to 2 so see here 2 into 2 cube minus 3 into 2 square minus 17 into 2 plus 30 now 2 cube is 8 8 into 2 is 16 2 square is 4 4 into 3 is 12 Seventeen into two is thirty-four and plus thirty. Sixteen minus twelve is four. As obviously greater number is sixteen, it is in plus, so I will get plus four. Minus thirty-four plus thirty is going to be minus four because greater number is minus thirty-four, so answer will be minus four. And obviously four minus four is equal to zero. So the first step is that we have to think one value of x, which will make the equation zero. So here x is equal to two is the zero of the equation. Now following the shortcut trick, x is equal to two. So I've written here two, and here I have to write down all the coefficients of this cubic equation. First of all, I have to write down in the order. That means first of all the coefficient of x cube that is two, the coefficient of x square that is minus three, the coefficient of x that is minus seventeen, and last the constant term that is thirty. Now my shortcut trick is that. You have to write down true this two whatever the digit is there if it is one two three four whatever is there you have to write down the same digit two here now you have to multiply this two into two is four minus three plus four is one two one the two minus seventeen plus two is minus fifteen two into minus fifteen is minus thirty and thirty minus thirty is going to be zero so this is the coefficient of x square this is the coefficient of x and this is constant term. So this becomes x minus two is the same factor, and this becomes two x square plus x minus fifteen. Now making the factors, x can be written as six x minus five x. So I have split the middle term into two parts. Now very simple, just take two x common from the first two term, it becomes x my x plus three minus five common from the last two term, it become it again becomes x plus three. Now x plus x plus three is same. You can take outside common x plus three. So in the bracket, it is left over with two x minus five. So big cubic equation has three factors: x minus two, x plus three, two x minus five. Next question is question number six. Straight and prove angle sum property of triangle. Now all of you know that angle sum property of triangle states that sum of all the angles of a triangle is 180 degree. Whatever the angle is, if you will add all the angles of a triangle, it is equal to 180 degree. So for this proof, I have done a construction. I have drawn a line L which is parallel to BC. So this is the con construction that you have drawn to prove the. Question. So draw line L, which is passing through the vertex A of triangle ABC, and it is parallel to the base BC. Now you know that when two lines are parallel, then alternate interior angles are equal. So angle one is equal to angle four, and this angle three is equal to angle five. So this is our written angle one is equal to angle four, angle three is equal to angle five. Alternate interior angles. Also, angle one, angle two, angle three are the angles on straight line, and straight line is always equal to 180 degree. So, angle one plus angle two plus angle three is equal to 180 degree. Now, as angle one is equal to angle four, so I have put angle one is equal to angle four, and angle three is equal to angle five. So, I put I put angle three is equal to angle five. Angle two will remain same. So it becomes angle four plus angle two plus angle five is equal to 180 degree. In the bracket, I have given. 
using equation 1 and 2 so here i have proved that the angle sum of angles of triangle is equal to 180 degree because angle 2 is equal to angle a angle 4 is equal to angle b and angle 5 is equal to angle c so all the sum of all the triangles of a angle uh, all sum of all the angles of a triangle is always equal to 180 degree so student next question is question number 7 that is from chapter number 11 constructions so we have to construct a triangle pqr in which pq is equal to 6.2 cm angle q is equal to 60 degree and pr minus rq is equal to 3 cm so first of all we have to draw a line qp we can call it pq or qp this is remain same i am taking qp because angle q is 60 degrees so i am taking q point this side hardly matters pq or qp same line is there so i have written qp and on which i have drawn an angle of 60 degree by using a compass so now this is ray qx and angle q is 60 degree now what you observe that pr minus rq so r point will come here so pr is greater as you have done in the exercise that if the angle uh, side opposite to the angle is greater that means this line will be produced backward so here i have produced this qx line in the backward position so this is i have written here produce qx ray backwards and what we have to do from point q we have to take an arc of length 3 cm whatever the difference of two sides is given we have to open an arc by the scale and we have to cut an arc of length 3 cm now this is point a and we have to join ap so this is the steps of construction that i have written here produce qx ray backwards and cut an arc of length 3 cm and mark point a now what you have to do you have to join ap and you have to draw the perpendicular bisector of this line ab i hope that all of you know how to draw the perpendicular bisector you have to just take a compass and mo open more than half open more than half then mark one point here and one point in the upward direction one point in the downward direction same from point p you have to draw an arc same length as you have opened the arc of this length the same length you have to take an arc of length from from point p you will mark an uh, arc in the upward direction and in the downward direction also now this is the perpendicular bisector sorry this is rub so this is the perpendicular bisector i have drawn i will now join both these arcs and you will see that this line will intersect the line qx at point r so this is the uh, point i have written here join ap and draw perpendicular bisector of ab which intersects the ray qx at point r just join p and r so now pqr this is the required triangle in this triangle you can observe that pq is equal to 6.2 cm angle q is equal to 60 degree and obviously pr is greater than qr so you can see here in our figure also pr is greater than qr so this is equal to 3 centimeter so please note down so students next question is based on chapter number 12 that is heron's formula so question number 8 it sides of a triangle are in the ratio 13 ratio 14 ratio 15 and its perimeter is 80 4 cm find its area so first of all sides are given in the ratio so let us suppose that sides of triangle are 13x 14x 15x now perimeter is equal to 84 by perimeter we mean sum of all the sides of the triangle that is 13x plus 14x plus 15x is equal to 84 that means 42x is equal to 84 so here i get the value of x is equal to 84 upon 42 which is equal to 2 so that means sides of the triangle that is a is equal to 13x that means 13 into 2 is equal to 26 b is equal to 14x that means 14 into 2 is equal to 28 and third side c is equal to 15x is equal to 15 into 2 is equal to 30 centimeter that means i have found all the sides of the triangle now by using Heron's formula we know that area of triangle is given by this formula this is square root of s into s minus a s minus b s minus c where s is semi perimeter and it is given by the formula a plus b plus c upon 2 so you don't need to add all this thing 
now in the question it is given that perimeter is equal to 84 so 84 upon 2 is equal to 42 semi means half so we will half the perimeter that is equal to 42 putting all these values in the given formula that is 42 into 42 minus a is 26 b is 28 and c is 30 so 42 minus 26 is 16 this is 14 this is 12 now this is in square root so we have to make the factors of all the number to take it out from the square root so 42 can be written as 2 into 3 into 7 into uh, 2 into 3 into 7 42 2 3 the 6 6 7 the 42 so 2 into 3 into 7 16 factors will be 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 4 times 2 14 factors will be 2 into 7 and the factors of 12 be, will be 2 into 2 into 3 now what is the thing that you have to do you have to make a pair of 2 2 so it is very simple i am telling you very shortcut trick just count how many 2 are there in the square root 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 they are 8 twos. that means out of the square root it will come in half that is 4 2 will come out 1 2 3 4 so you will write down 2 4 times 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 similarly you will count how many 3's are there 1 2 so they are 2 3 so out of the square root only 1 3 will come similarly there are 2 7 so out of the square root only 1 7 will come and there will be nothing left over in this square root so square root of nothing is left so it become 1 and square root of 1 is equal to 1 so we square root is removed we don't need to write down the square root just multiply all the uh, all these numbers 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 7 we get 336 centimeter square so this is area of triangle please note down now student next question is question number 9 this is based on probability chapter number 15 a die is rolled 25 times and outcomes are recorded as an under so one when we die roll a die 1 comes 9 times, 2 comes 4 times, 3 comes 5 times, 4 comes 6 times, 5 comes 1 time and 6 comes 0 times. So these are the outcomes recorded. It is thrown one more time. Find the probability of getting an even number. So first of all see here total times a die is rolled that is 25. Now we have rolled the die and we get an even number. So we know that whenever we throw a die the even numbers are 2, 4 and 6. So probability of getting an even number will be now 2 has come 4 times so 4 and 4 has come four, 6 times so 6 and 6 has come 0 times that is 0. So we have to add that number of times 2, 4, 6 and come so 4 plus 6 plus 0 that is 4 plus 6 plus 0 upon total number of times the die is rolled th that is 25. So 6 plus 4 10 upon 25 cancelling on the table of 5 we get 2 upon 5 very simple next is a multiple of 3 multiple of 3 are that comes on the table of 3 that is 3 or 6 so just you have to add the number of times 3 comes that is 5 the number of times 6 comes that is 0 that is 5 plus 0 upon 25 so answer is 5 by 25 which is equal to 1 by 5 and the last one is a prime number prime numbers are those numbers which come on on the table itself or it is having any two factors one and the number itself so prime numbers are 2, 3 and 5. So you just have to uh, add all the frequencies of 2, 3 and 5. Frequency of 2 is 4, 5 and 1. So I have added it 4, 5 and 1 upon total number of times dies is 2. That is 10 upon 25 which is equal to 2 by 5. Please note down. So student next is question number 10 that is we have to simplify 7 root 3 upon root 10 plus root 3 minus 2 root 5 upon root 6 plus root 5 minus 3 root 2 upon root 15 plus 3 root 2. This type of question we have done already in the Holtz question of chapter number 1. So I told you that we have to rationalize each term that is having an irrational number in the denominator. So without wasting the time we will just rationalize root 10 plus root 3 is there so we will multiply by root 10 minus root 3 upon root 10 minus root 3 just take opposite sign same here root 6 plus root 5 is there so we have multiplied and divided by root 6 minus root 5 same here root 15 plus 3 root 2 is there so we have multiplied and divide by root 15 minus 3 root 2 upon root 15 minus 3 root 2 so numerator becomes 7 root 3 into this upon a plus b into a minus b which becomes a square minus b square so root 10 square will become 10 and root 3 square will become 3 so it becomes 10 minus 3 
सेम ए इन द सेकेंड टर्म टू रूट फाइव इंटू रूट सिक्स माइनस रूट फाइव अपॉन ए प्लस बी ए माइनस बी विच बिकम्स ए स्क्वायर माइनस बी स्क्वायर सो रूट स्क्वायर बिकम्स सिक्स एंड रूट फाइव स्क्वायर बिकम्स फाइव सो इट बिकम्स सिक्स माइनस फाइव एंड द लास्ट टर्म इज थ्री रूट टू इंटू रूट फिफ्टीन माइनस थ्री रूट टू अपॉन ए प्लस बी इंटू ए माइनस बी इन एवरी टर्म यू गेट द सेम फॉर्मुला ए प्लस बी इंटू ए माइनस बी विच इज गोइंग टू बी ए स्क्वायर माइनस बी स्क्वायर सो रूट फिफ्टीन स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू फिफ्टीन एंड बी स्क्वायर दैट मीन्स थ्री रूट टू स्क्वायर नाउ थ्री रूट टू स्क्वायर थ्री स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू नाइन एंड रूट टू स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू टू सो नाइन इंटू टू इज एटीन सो आई रिटर्न एयर फिफ्टीन माइनस एटीन नाउ टेन माइनस थ्री इज इक्वल टू सेवन सिक्स माइनस फाइव इज इक्वल टू वन फिफ्टीन माइनस एटीन इज इक्वल टू माइनस थ्री कैंसल सेवन बाय सेवन एंड थ्री बाय थ्री नाउ मल्टीप्लाई रूट थ्री बाय रूट टेन इट बिकम्स रूट थर्टी रूट थ्री इंटू रूट थ्री इज इक्वल टू थ्री माइनस टू रूट फाइव इंटू रूट सिक्स इट बिकम्स टू रूट रूट फाइव इंटू रूट सिक्स बिकम्स टू रूट थर्टी माइनस माइनस प्लस रूट फाइव इंटू रूट फाइव फाइव एंड फाइव इंटू टू टेन नेक्स्ट स्टेप माइनस माइनस विल बिकम प्लस रूट टू इंटू रूट फिफ्टीन रूट थर्टी नाउ प्लस इज देयर प्लस माइनस विल बिकम माइनस रूट टू इंटू रूट टू बिकम टू एंड टू इंटू थ्री इज इक्वल टू सिक्स बी केयरफुल वेन यू आर मल्टीप्लाइंग द स्क्वायर रूट नंबर्स सेम नंबर्स इन स्क्वायर रूट विल कैंसल द स्क्वायर रूट एंड डिफरेंट नंबर्स इन द स्क्वायर रूट विल बी मल्टीप्लाइड नाउ रूट थर्टी प्लस रूट थर्टी बिकम्स टू रूट थर्टी एंड हेयर आम आई एम हैविंग माइनस टू रूट थर्टी एंड माइनस थ्री प्लस टेन माइनस सिक्स सो टू रूट थर्टी विल बी कैंसल बाई टू रूट थर्टी टेन माइनस थ्री सेवन सेवन माइनस सिक्स इज वन सो वन इज द आंसर प्लीज नोट डाउन सो स्टूडेंट नेक्स्ट इज क्वेश्चन नंबर इलेवन दैट इज स्पेक्ट्राइजेशन सो सी द फर्स्ट पार्ट फीस फर्स्ट पार्ट इज एक्स क्यूब माइनस वाई क्यूब माइनस थ्री एक्स वाई माइनस वन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू हैव टू आइडेंटिफाई विच फॉर्मूला वी हैव यूज हेयर नाउ एक्स क्यूब दैट मीन्स वी हैव जस्ट यूज द क्यूबिक फॉर्मूला एक्स क्यूब कैन बी रिटर्न एस एक्स एस टू पर होल क्यूब वाई क्यूब माइनस वाई क्यूब इज देयर सो वी कैन राइट डाउन प्लस इन टू माइनस वाई होल क्यूब बिकॉज माइनस वाई क्यूब विल बिकम अगेन माइनस वाई क्यूब माइनस वाई होल क्यूब विल बिकम माइनस वाई क्यूब सिमिलरली माइनस वन कैन बी रिटर्न एस प्लस इन टू माइनस वन होल क्यूब I you will be able to know further why I am writing like this and this is minus three into a a is here x b is here minus y and c is here minus one which when you will solve with this minus minus is plus plus minus is minus three x y into one is three x y so you will get again the same formula why you have written like this because you have to identify the formula and it exactly resembles this formula which. is given in your book and this is the formula given on the cubic equation this is the only formula given in the cubic equation and there are rest other formulas also that is a plus b whole cube and a minus b whole cube a cube plus b cube but this formula resembles this one so we have to use this formula which is equal to a plus b plus c into a square plus b square plus c square minus ab minus bc minus ca so just here we are having in place of a we are having x in place of b we are having minus y in place of c we are having minus 1 so we have replaced a by x b by minus y and c by minus 1 minus so this i have written is equal to same put the value of a plus b plus c that is x plus minus y plus minus 1 that is a plus b plus c our a is a b is minus 5 and c is minus 1 next bracket a square that means x square b square that means minus y square plus c square that means minus 1 square and replace ab by x into minus y bc by minus y into minus 1 and minus ca by minus c is minus 1 and a is x that means you have to identify the formula and just apply the formula by replacing the a b c by the given terms which we are having in the question so this becomes plus minus become minus plus minus becomes minus so x minus y minus 1 into x square minus square will become positive so x square plus y square plus 1 square will become 1 Minus minus plus x into y x y minus minus plus plus minus minus y into one will become y and minus minus will become plus one into x will become x. So this is the factorization we have done. 
द नेक्स्ट पार्ट इज फोर एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस नाइन वाई स्क्वायर प्लस सिक्सटीन जेड स्क्वायर प्लस ट्वेल्व एक्स वाई माइनस ट्वेंटी फोर वाई जेड माइनस सिक्सटीन एक्स जेड नाउ दिस इज इन द फॉर्म ऑफ ए स्क्वायर प्लस बी स्क्वायर प्लस सी स्क्वायर दिस विल गिव यू द हिंट दैट दिस इज द फॉर्मूला दैट वी हैव टू यूज फॉर ए प्लस बी प्लस सी होल स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू ए स्क्वायर प्लस बी स्क्वायर प्लस सी स्क्वायर प्लस टू ए बी प्लस टू बी सी प्लस टू सी ए सो दैट मीन्स यू हैव टू फॉर्म दिस कंप्लीट इक्वेशन इन द फॉर्म ऑफ ए स्क्वायर प्लस बी स्क्वायर प्लस सी स्क्वायर टू ए बी प्लस टू बी सी प्लस टू सी ए सो ए स्क्वायर फोर एक्स इज एक्जैक्टली टू एक्स होल स्क्वायर इट कैन बी रिटर्न एक्स टू एक्स होल स्क्वायर नाइन वाई स्क्वायर कैन बी रिटर्न एस थ्री वाई होल स्क्वायर एंड सिक्सटीन जेड स्क्वायर कैन बी इनिशियली रिटर्न एस फोर जेड होल स्क्वायर आई एम रिमूविंग दिस नेगेटिव साइन एंड देन आई विल टेल यू हाउ दिस नेगेटिव साइन हैज़ बीन इम्प्लाइड प्लस फोर जेड स्क्वायर नाउ जस्ट सिंपली अप्लाई टू ए बी टू इंटू ए इज टू एक्स बी इज थ्री वाई टू बी सी दैट इज टू इंटू बी इज थ्री वाई सी इज फोर जेड प्लस टू सी ए दैट मीन्स टू इंटू सी इज हेयर फोर जेड एंड ए इज हेयर टू एक्स बट हेयर वेन वी विल जस्ट सी द लास्ट टू टर्म्स बोथ द टर्म्स आर इन नेगेटिव साइन सो आई टोल्ड यू माई शॉर्टकट मेथड जस्ट सी द कॉमन वेरिएबल इन दीज टू टर्म्स here variables are y z here we are having x z so z is coming in both the terms that means z is the only term which is negative so where have wherever we are having z term term containing z we have to mark negative sign so am i here i am having z minus 4 z minus 4 z minus 4 z now you can check your question again minus 4 z whole square will become 16 z square 2 into 3 will become 6. 6 into minus 4 will become minus 24. Y Z. And similarly, 2 into minus 4 is going to be minus 8 into 2 is minus 16 Z X. So yes, yes, uh, you have made it in the form of this formula. Now this formula is equal to a plus b plus c whole square. So a is here 2 X, b is here 3 Y, and c is here minus 4 Z. so it can be written as 2x plus 3y plus minus 4z whole square in the last plus minus will become minus so the final answer is 2x plus 3y minus 4z whole square so next question is question number 12 taxi fare the first kilometer is rupees 10 and fare for the subsequent distance is rupees 6 per kilometer if the distance is x kilometer and total fare is rupees y write a linear equation for its statement and draw its graph also so first of all we will see here that total distance is equal to x and when someone will cover the distance of 1 km that means he has to pay the charges rupees 10 now for the next km that means if he has to travel for 2 km he has to pay rupees 6 extra for subsequent distance is rupees 6 per km for 2 that means if he has to travel for 2 km then 10 rupees for the first kilometer and the next for the next 1 kilometer he has to pay rupees 6 extra so it will be rupees 16 so similarly if he has to walk for 3 kilometers then 10 kilometers for the first distance and next kilometer for next second second kilometer he has to pay rupees 6 again if he has to travel for 3 kilometers then again he has to pay rupees 6 more for the next kilometer so subsequent distance so here i don't know whatever the distance he has travel so let us take total distance is equal to x kilometer this is given in the question also now for first kilometer fare is rupees 10 that means what is the remaining distance total distance is x and we have covered one this one kilometer distance so total distance that is remaining distance is x minus 1 suppose if a person has to cover a distance of 10 kilometers then for the first 10 out of the first 10 kilometer for the first kilometer he has paid rupees 10 and the remaining distance is 9 km for the 9 km he has to pay rupees 6 per km so 9 into 6 is going to be 54 and rupees 10 for the first km that means he has to pay rupees 64 i hope that you understood the question so for remaining distance what you have done you have subtracted 10 minus 1 so similarly i have done x minus 1 km now fare for the remaining distance is rupees 6 this is given in the question rupees 6 per km therefore fare for the remaining x minus 1 km that is what i have just uh, evaluated here 
फेयर फॉर द रिमेनिंग नाइन किलोमीटर इज नाइन इंटू सिक्स सो आई हैव मल्टीप्लाइड द रिमेनिंग डिस्टेंस बाय द चार्जेस पर यूनिट पर किलोमीटर सॉरी सो I that's what I am doing here. I have multiplied the remaining distance x minus one by the charges rupees six. So it becomes six into x minus one. So the total fare for this will be ten rupees for the first kilometer, and the remaining fare is for the remaining distance x minus one. It is six into x minus one. So this will be the equation for the total fare. But in the question also, it is given total fare is rupees y. So y is equal to ten plus six into x minus one. Open this, it will become six x minus six. Ten minus six is going to be four. So the equation is y is equal to four plus six x. Now we have to find out the linear equation as well as we have to draw the graph also. For the graph. I hope that all of you know how to draw the graph. So whenever you have to draw the graph, you have to take any value of x or y. So I have taken first of all x is equal to zero. If I will put x is equal to zero here, six into zero will become zero. So value of y is equal to four. So I have just put here x is equal to zero. That means y is equal to four. Now if I will put x is equal to one, so six into one will become six. Six plus four is ten. So when x is equal to one. y is equal to 10 now when i put x is equal to minus 1 so x is equal to minus 1 6 into minus 1 will become minus 6 and 4 minus 6 will become minus 2 so when x is equal to minus 1 y is equal to minus 2 so three points are sufficient to locate to draw a line now just locate the points on the cartesian plane draw a graph take a point x is equal to 0 y is equal to 4 this is point 0 comma 4 x is equal to 1 y is equal to 10 that means on x axis here it is x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 10 here we are having y is equal to 10 so this point will be this point will be 1 comma 10 and the next is x is equal to minus 1 and y is equal to minus 2 on x axis x is equal to minus 1 is here and on y axis y is equal to minus 2 is here so in front of these two point it will be this point this point will be minus 1 comma minus 2 So just join all these three points, and you will be able to draw the equation of this graph. Uh, graph of this equation. Please note down. So students, this is the last question number thirteen. That is, if a transversal intersects two parallel lines, prove that bisectors of any pair of corresponding angles so formed are parallel. This is actually an NCERT question. So in this question, what is given? Try to understand. Two lines are parallel. This let us suppose PQ and RS are parallel lines, and this is a line TL which intersects PQ and RS. So this is a transversal, and we have to prove that the angle bisector of corresponding angles. You know that TAQ and ACS are corresponding angles. Corresponding angles are the angles which are on the same side of the transversal. So these are on the same side of transversal. So AB is the bisector of angle TAQ and CD is the bisector of angle ACS. So we have to prove that AB is also parallel to CD. So let's see here. I have written given and two proof. So see the proof. AB and CD are bisectors. AB is the bisector of angle TAQ and CD is the bisector of angle ACS. Bisector means that divides the angle into two equal parts. That means angle one is equal to angle two and angle three is equal to angle four. Very simple. So I written here angle one is equal to angle two and angle three is equal to angle four. I have marked this equation number one, equation number two. Now, as these two lines are parallel, and you know that when two lines are parallel, then corresponding angles are equal. Therefore, angle TAQ is equal to angle ACS. Angle TAQ is equal to angle ACS. That means half of angle TAQ is equal to half of angle ACS. Now, as these two angles are equal, so we can take half of this angle will be angle one, and half of this angle will be equal to angle three. So angle one is equal to angle three. Similarly, you can take half of this is equal to angle two and angle four. You can take any one. So angle one is equal to angle three. But when you will observe this very clearly, you can see that. If these two lines are parallel or, or produce backward, very carefully see here. 
this is angle 1 and these are angle 2 now we have proved that this angle 1 is equal to angle 3 if you will observe these are also corresponding angles so if corresponding angles are equal then lines are parallel this is just the reverse of corresponding angle axiom so using that if angle 1 is equal to angle 3 that means if two lines are parallel Oh, sorry if two corresponding angles are equal then definitely lines must be parallel so a b is parallel to c d hence proved so students here we have discussed all the questions which are important from the examination point of view related to these chapters i hope so that you have understood all the questions related to this chapter if you love my video please like share and subscribe and thank you so much for watching alicia mass classes thank you all